Imagine Ethereum as a massive global computer, one that never sleeps and is always on, connecting people and ideas across every continent. Instead of being owned or controlled by a single company, it's run by thousands of independent people and organizations worldwide, each contributing their resources to keep it alive. This decentralized computer runs smart contracts, self-executing programs that power everything from digital art and NFTs to complex financial applications and games. But running such a vast distributed network isn't free. It requires real computational power, electricity, and constant maintenance from all those operators. That's where gas comes in. Think of it as the essential fuel that keeps Ethereum's global engine running smoothly. Just like a car needs fuel to travel, every action on Ethereum, no matter how small, requires gas. The more complex your journey, the more fuel you'll need to reach your destination. On Ethereum, every action, whether you're sending money, minting an NFT or using a decentralized app, requires gas, which measures the computational effort needed to process your request. Gas fees are the payments you make for the gas your transaction uses directly rewarding the validators who process, verify, and secure the network. Without these gas fees there would be no incentive for validators to keep the network running and Ethereum would simply grind to a halt. Gas fees aren't just random charges, they're a crucial part of what keeps Ethereum functional, efficient, and secure against attacks or spam. Every user through these small payments helps maintain and strengthen this global computer, ensuring it remains open and accessible to all. While gas fees can sometimes seem confusing or intimidating, they're simply the cost of using a decentralized open system that anyone can join. In the end, it's the price of admission to a new kind of financial and creative ecosystem, one without a central authority, where everyone has a role in keeping the system alive. Gas fees are a fundamental part of how Ethereum works. They mainly serve to reward validators for running the network, processing transactions, and keeping everything secure and reliable. Without these incentives, there would be little reason for validators to dedicate their time and resources to maintaining the blockchain. Gas fees also act as a powerful defense mechanism. They protect Ethereum from spam and malicious attacks. If transactions were free, bad actors could easily flood the system with endless requests, overwhelming the network and making it unusable for everyone else. By charging a fee for every action, Ethereum makes large-scale attacks expensive and impractical. This cost barrier discourages abuse and helps ensure that only legitimate transactions are processed. Gas fees also help allocate Ethereum's limited network resources. Since only a certain number of transactions can fit in each block, fees help determine which transactions get processed first. When demand is high, users can bid higher fees to get their transactions prioritized, ensuring that urgent or important transactions go through ahead of less critical ones. This market-driven system keeps the network running efficiently and fairly, balancing supply and demand for transaction space. While gas fees can spike during busy times, much like traffic jams during rush hour, they're crucial for maintaining security and managing network resources effectively. Gas fees aren't just a cost to users, they're an essential tool for sustainability helping to fund ongoing network maintenance and support a healthy blockchain ecosystem. Ultimately, gas fees keep Ethereum decentralized, secure, and running smoothly for everyone who relies on it. You pay gas fees whenever you interact with the Ethereum blockchain. Sending ETH or tokens? That's a transaction, gas fee required. Swapping tokens on a decentralized exchange or using DeFi apps? Each step in a smart contract costs gas. Minting, buying, or selling NFTs, every action is a transaction that needs gas. Even giving a new app permission to use your tokens is a transaction with a gas fee. Basically, any action that changes the blockchain state requires gas. If you're moving tokens, creating NFTs, or using smart contracts, expect to pay for the computational resources. Gas prices on the blockchain change constantly, mainly due to the forces of supply and demand, just like prices in any busy marketplace. When more people want to use the network at the same time, competition for limited space drives prices higher. Each block on the blockchain has limited space for transactions. When demand surges and more people want their transactions processed quickly, fees naturally go up as users compete to get included in the next block. It's a lot like rush hour traffic. When the network is crowded, it's as if everyone is trying to get through the same toll booth at once, so the cost to get through rises. During quiet times, when fewer people are transacting, gas fees drop. But during big events like NFT launches or sudden market surges, 
fees can spike dramatically as everyone rushes to participate. The complexity of your transaction also matters. A simple transfer between wallets uses less gas, while interacting with smart contracts or decentralized apps requires more, increasing your fee. Your total fee is calculated by multiplying the gas units your transaction needs by the current gas price, which can change minute by minute. While you can't change how much gas a contract or transaction needs, you do have control over when you choose to transact, which can make a big difference in cost. By avoiding busy times and transacting when the network is less congested, you can often save a significant amount of money on fees. Understanding these factors, network demand, transaction complexity and timing, helps you plan ahead and avoid paying unnecessarily high fees. So, both the timing of your transaction and the type of transaction you make will impact your costs. Being strategic can help you keep more of your money. To save on gas fees, time your transactions for off-peak hours, late nights or weekends are usually cheaper. Use tools like Etherscan Gas Tracker to monitor prices and wait for dips. Try Layer 2 solutions like Arbitrum or Polygon for much lower fees. When using wallets, choose slower transaction speeds if you're not in a rush. Lower fees, longer wait. Bundle actions. One larger transaction is often cheaper than several small ones. Plan ahead to minimize the number of transactions you make. By being strategic, you can cut costs and use Ethereum more efficiently. Smart timing and the right tools make a big difference in your gas spending.